What? Why? Because I don't need that. We don't buy new things that just work. Is the 7.3 Ford Excursion the ultimate SUV? I like the color. Is it another 7.3 in our yard? Yes, because we have a whole fleet of 7.3s. Hey everybody, what's up? Welcome back to another episode of Chasing 518. Quick one today. A lot of you have seen this thing in the background of some of my other videos and you've asked what's up with the excursion. Today, we're gonna tell you. But instead of listening to me blab on and on about this thing, we're gonna have Mallory do it since this is her car. All right, what do you wanna know about this? Is it another 7.3 in our yard? Yes, because we have a whole fleet of 7.3s because that's all my husband wants, or 7.3s, because they're amazing. That's what I keep hearing, but it has been good. It's a 2001, uh, so it is a few years newer than what I'm currently driving. Uh, it has all the seats. Um, now that we are bringing kids home from school for play dates, going to concerts, taking friends, um, I needed something that held a few more. A third row. She needed a third row. Holds she, all the people. She asked for three things. A third row, heated seats, and fits in the garage. She got one of them. That's kind of how. Not surprised. It's kind of how it works living with me. I found this thing, Facebook Marketplace, of course, Visalia, California. It was a cheap farmer of all things. Um, nicest he, person ever. Nicest person ever to buy a vehicle from. You need sheep. I owe you sheep. Uh, I owe you sheep company. Anyway, it had some problems and he was looking to dump it. So we picked it up for pretty cheap and it, I've been working on it ever since, but we'll walk you through the good stuff for now. We don't buy new things that just work. So far, you have gotten me new tires and wheels, and it's beautiful. It had a six inch lift when we got it, which it still has, but- That's um, gonna go away. It, it's gonna get lowered a little bit. A little bit. What? Why? Because I don't need that. It is unnecessary for me to sit as high in the air as it currently does. Not- No, I mean, to go to the grocery store, you gotta have it. Yeah, well, stock's too lame. So <laughs> So to, to fit the lift, I put some 37 inch Mickey Thompson Baja Boss ATs on it, uh, the all train. She doesn't need the mud trains like, like I've got on, um, on my truck and the race car and stuff. So 37 inch Baja Boss AT on a 17 inch Raceline Rogue wheel. I thought the matte silver matched the silver kind of cladding or trim on the excursion. Just perfect. What have we done so far? Oh, we gutted it. We, we took out the seats, we took out the carpet, we took out the upper console. Um, everything in here came out. My children and my husband spent a day and a half cleaning upholstery. I spent half a day cleaning upholstery because I was working. Um, Kevin cleaned the carpet. We took all the plastic off. Every piece of plastic came out and got washed. I think I have a legit probably 36 hours into cleaning the interior and most of that was with it outside of the vehicle. Madeline even pressure washed the carpet. Oh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, carpet was so bad we just straight pressure washed it on the driveway. And they did a beautiful job. It looks amazing inside, like a brand new car. Excursions came with just a two-piece overhead console to, to house the rear controls and the front controls, but this one had some aftermarket console. It's honestly really poorly made. And the weight of the DVD player that used to be right there, where, right there, uh, the weight of that DVD player and just the poor mounting of the whole thing just tore it off the headliner. So had to kind of build some reinforcements for that and kind of re-engineer that and it's re-secured, but I'm just gonna build a filler plate for the DVD player because Kids use iPads now, let's face it. Before we got it, somebody put later model Super Duty mirrors on it. So the excursions had kind of an oval shaped mirror, but this has got the, the large rectangular Super Duty mirrors. I like those. They fit, they fit pretty good, yes. especially with the bigger wheels oh, and tires. Uh, you got arthritis in your finger, figuring out the key code. Yeah, shout out. I've already forgotten. Well, I've got it written down for you somewhere. Uh, shout out to Geeks 4x4, he made a video on if you don't know your keypad sequence, how to find it. And I found it and it was pretty deep in the algorithm of keypad sequence, but 
Uh, we now have the sequence and it's pretty cool because you can lock unlock the doors okay. from the keypad. So that's pretty handy. It needs a new paint job still. Yeah, we're gonna. Things like this do not bother Kevin. They bother, they bother me. I gotta... So this really needs to go up on the list. I got a, I got a plan. I got a plan for this, but I'm heaven done. forbid I make it mechanically sound first. We need some trim pieces for the back still. Yeah, we're still looking for some interior stuff. Under the hood, I started chasing some leaks and one thing led to another. We had a check engine light code for a glow plug. When I went that deep, I was like, well, the power steering pump's leaking, changed it, changed some hoses. If I'm gonna do that, I might as well fix some of the exhaust leaks. So I ended up resealing all the exhaust up to the turbo, found the turbo was dusted, put a brand new KC300X stage one turbo on it. Not a sponsored product by any means, really nice product. Had a little issue with the inlet boot, but they uh, had excellent customer service and took care of me. So that was cool. So up front, put some new headlights in it. They're garbage, uh, not really happy with those at all. I uh, might return them, not sure, so. You got a new hood. Uh, I've got another hood at the house. I'm gonna polish the paint on it and throw it on because it's better. Nice, it's better looking than that. You gonna work on some dents? Uh, I'd like to find a better condition bumper that doesn't have dents and a crooked license plate holder. I would like to get a new grill because I don't like this grill. She doesn't like at the all. I don't know what we call it, the milk crate excursion grill that they had for a couple of years. She likes the truck grill, so. I don't know what we're gonna do there, but. We also weren't we're gonna fans get a the excursion girl. until McKenna laid across the back seat and realized she could it's lay true. down and fall asleep. Yeah, you and wanna. Still has like her own you, row. You wanna talk about size, so. We got middle row. You got third row. And then even with third row. Diesel row. <laughs> Diesel row. You've got a, a dog diesel, um, still has full cargo space back here. So um, the third row seat pops out uh, kind of quick release style. So if you wanted to ditch it, you could, and then you'd have a ton of room. The second row will fold down and then you could fit a full four by eight sheet of plywood on the floor in the back. So if you wanted to sleep in this thing or something, you could. Mallory talks about camping with the girls in it. So there's- Tent camping. There's uh, It's elevated. There's some options It'll here. Be Bougie tent camping. Bougie, not on the ground. We're not into it for too much money at this point. We've got two kids, and if you think about the duration in which you need a third row, it's a pretty short window. This 12 year old right here will be driving in four years, and then. Not four, three. You were not 13 yet. Almost. No, this, four. Almost. This 12 year old will be driving in a few short years, and at that point, we won't even need a third row anymore, and Mallory will probably downsize again. Uh, but in the meantime, we got room for our kids, their friends, our dog. We could tow the boat to the lake. Uh, we could take big family road trips. So we're going to live that 7-3 life. 283,000 miles on it. It's got a transmission, has a remanufactured tag on it. I'm going to do as much maintenance as I can, keep things alive. Right now it's not leaking anything and it's running good. So fingers crossed. As good as my car has been to me, this does have all working vents. That's coming true. Out. So all the airflow comes through. And so the seats that... won't be cold in the morning. Yeah, fabric seats, seats instead of leather. Your seats are uh, It's pretty wild. An excursion has, is it 10 cup holders or 12? All the cup holders. It has 10 cup holders front to back. It might even have 12. It's, it's got, got like an outlet for each it's, row. It's got five power points front to back. Uh, it's, it's, a big, it's a big machine. Now that we're, we've reached that life phase of almost living out of the car, I could live comfortably there you go. out of the car. Yep. So there you go. Is the 7.3 Ford Excursion the ultimate SUV? You guys decide. We'll see you next week.